Welcome to the North Ops Fire Weather Webcast for Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. A total of four cloud-to-ground lightning strikes affected the Greater Bay Area between late afternoon and around sunup this morning. The cells were of the drier variety. The most recent water vapor loop from GO-16 shows mid-level moisture streaming north over California, with a couple of shortwave disturbances embedded within the moisture. A stronger Pacific trough looms off the west coast and will be the catalyst for windier conditions on Wednesday. Visible satellite this morning reveals bubbly clouds with some embedded showers streaming over portions of the area. Partly cloudy skies will be the main theme today with some periods of sun and other periods being shaded. A classic tropical moisture fetch from the remnants of Alberto will affect the area today then the Pacific trough will begin to sweep the moisture eastward and out of the area on Wednesday. It appears the region will be under the influence of a weaker jet, with disturbances moving along it from Thursday through the weekend. A stronger disturbance could return sometime during the weekend. A little more ridging influence should occur early next week. Temperatures will fluctuate due to the disturbance passages and near-term cloud cover, with generally mixed anomaly signals the next seven days. The more pronounced warmer signal appears to be early next week. The main lightning threat today appears to be across the east and particularly near Lake Tahoe, although drier strikes are not ruled out further to the west. The activity near Lake Tahoe should be a mix of wet and dry with plenty of strikes outside of the main wetting rain footprints. Further north, the activity will be drier. All the cells that form today will be fast moving towards the northeast. There is a nocturnal lightning threat tonight, especially between midnight to around 0800. Displayed are various graphics from the different modeling showing some potential across the Modoc Plateau and Far East. Any cells that do form would be fast moving and of the drier variety. It is worth mentioning there is a lightning chance for later Sunday, although certainly not a slam dunk that far out. Both the Euro and GFS indicate some potential across the northeast half. We'll continue to monitor the model trends. Areas of onshore breeziness will occur today and combine with low to marginally low humidity. This particular model doesn't show outflow wind impacts across northern California, but some weak to moderate outflow winds will be a concern with the lightning activity. These forecast images are valid at 1700 today. A widespread gusty wind event will impact the majority of the area on Wednesday with breezy to windy conditions. Humidity values will rise some, but still remain low to marginally low across the interior. The strongest winds will be felt across the Modoc Plateau, Far East Side, and Greater Bay Area. This forecast image is valid at 1700 Wednesday. The onshore breeziness will taper down on Thursday, with lesser breezes continuing into Friday. Humidity will remain low to marginally low across the interior, away from the coastal influences. This forecast image is valid at 1700 Thursday. Based on the latest model projections, some breezier onshore wind flows could return during the weekend. This GFS wind and National Weather Service minimum humidity forecast is valid at 1700 Saturday. The seven-day significant fire potential product shows a mix of risk with the most heightened risk today and Wednesday due to lightning followed by an organized, gusty, and generally dry wind event. The main threat focus will be found across the east due to the highest lightning potential, but the gusty dry winds combined with mostly cured herbaceous fuels and unseasonally flammable dead fuels raises fire danger levels pretty much across the entire area, minus the immediate coastal areas. We'll be monitoring another potentially heightened fire weather period during the weekend. In summary, lightning today and tonight, followed by a gusty dry wind event Wednesday, provides a heightened risk for large fire during the near term, especially focused across eastern areas. The weekend is another period to watch, although the lightning and wind signals are less clear. Dead fuels remain unseasonably dry and quite flammable away from the coastal influences during the next several days. 